channel started recording. Okay. Um, so, Tyrion, you were eventually muted. led to Adler's room, only to be informed that Adler had to leave on business matters, but he will be returning in, in, in short order. Um, please take a seat in the meantime. Adler, would you have taken up Barbosa on the offer for beverages to be delivered to your room? Yes, please. The very finest of wines. Ambersack. Shush. <laughs> I would bring... I would personally make sure that they are bought there, sir, as quickly as possible. Okay, so you can go ahead and move your token to Adler's room as well. Well, I would think I would have to go to the kitchens first. Well, yeah, I'm sure you can send a servant. You've got like 50 servants under you. One of them can <laughs> grab the wine if you trust them enough. Willpower to see if you want to insult the cook. Was it toughness or willpower? I thought uh, your allergy... It's toughness to not throw up. Right. Okay. Oh, and yes, Adler, you'd remember your sister Hakel. So are you still ordering the best Amasek? Well, I don't know if she would have hated alcohol when she was around him. Um, because the allergy uh, didn't occur until she was on the celestial heaven. Oh, okay, you're right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, willpower would if he if he. Failed would be he wants to make sure this is done personally. If he passed, he would be able to trust one of his someone else to bring it, and he'll just be waiting in front of the room. So, which is he doing? Sorry, uh, willpower to see if he, if continuing his dedication to his work, to see if he eats, would delegate. If he failed, he would personally do take care of everything himself. So if he failed, he would do everything himself? Uh, Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then he's going to take his sweet time. So, uh, Tyrion, as you're just sitting basically in one of Adler's rooms, still surrounded by guards who say you're just going to have to wait a bit. Can I roll scrutiny? Yeah, absolutely. They seem like pretty trustworthy guys. It's it's impossible to determine if they're illegitimate if their statements. So What's her plan then? Just wait or he refuses to take a seat, but she's just going to wait for a while. Okay. Okay. Um, Fungels. A uh, yes. I'm going to want you to make a roll, please. <gasps> Pretty good roll. Okay, um, so Tyrion, it's, it's, it, it strikes you as perhaps a bit odd that Adler uh, apparently wanted you to come to his rooms to speak personally, only for you to arrive and be informed that he's busy with other business. So, she's how gonna, long... Sorry, go ahead. She's not going to wait too much longer if, it's, if she realizes it's weird. She's going to demand to see him, or she's going to walk out the room, or at least attempt to. Okay, if she makes uh, an insinuation that she's going to leave, the guards will ready basically batons. Oh, she's going to demand to see him regardless. Uh, 
Uh, one of them would basically chime into a microbead. Um, and Adler, you would hear one of your agents stating she's demanding to speak with you and threatening to attempt to leave. Orders? I am on my way. I will be there presently. And you will relay this to Dale. Okay. Go wait a little bit longer. Probably like 10 minutes. Fungi, uh, there was another exchange. Indeed. Indeed. Um, uh, Butler, you, you'd be able to arrive before Adler will, I think. Uh, if you, you, You'd be double-timing it to get that uh, Amasek? Mm. Would you, or would you take your time? I would be double-timing. just want to get this done. Okay, so go Let's ahead. Let's do whatever I can for the young master. Go ahead and bring your token into the room. Uh, while this is taking place, Alaric, what would you be up to? Keeping your men on guard, asking them to stand down from alert, uh, notifying the Arbites that everything's under troll. Uh, as he passes the closest maid or servant, he would order them to start cleaning the young mistress's hair. <laughs> Yes, uh, they, they, they had already been under orders to keep it ready for her return at all times, but they will double check to ensure everything is where it should be, sir. Excellent. Okay, Fungi, I'm going to need another roll. So, yeah, Again, that feeling of dread that this is all going to shit. Yep, it's all going to shit. <laughs> Um, so, Dale, the, the smell is, um, it's pleasant enough Amasek fragrant, like the, um, the, the boutique of the alcohol is, is good enough that it, it suppresses your gag reflex of the alcohol smell. Sweet. And... All right, so um, uh, at this point, uh, Fungi, you know what? Okay. The House of Cards is tumbling down. I think. I don't know. All right, Fungi. Just so you know, you, when you tell me that you sent me a message, have I read it yet? It's pretty much as soon as the program goes, by the way, there's a uh, message. I, I, I'm not asking if you've read it yet, I'm just saying it's arrived. When I say all right, Fungi, I'm just saying I have sent something. Right. Furious typing. Uh, so, Butler, you, you are face-to-face -face with uh, Dale. Uh, will either of you speak to one another, or are you going to snub your nose? Not too much. <laughs> Mistress Dale, it is... Oh. Mistress Dale, it is rather pleasant of you to grace us with your presence after so many young years. I'm assuming he's not being sincere at all. Uh, it sounds sincere, but you can definitely detect a condescending tone. Right, period. I'm sorry. My family's in the basement. No wonder I didn't know because I didn't know where to take them. 
Um, Kieran will just glare at him and so happy to see you too. That is impossible. With the same level of disdain and contempt. Well, it is good to see you finally back home. We have kept your rooms best we can. It is very pleasant to see that you have decided to grace us and to Jenga. finally visit <laughs> your... Okay, uh, Brooke, I, I'm very sorry, but if you're not speaking, it would probably be ideal. Or Is that coming from Book, was it? Or did she just mute? Okay, because the moment I looked, it's like, wait, mute. I thought, oh, well, in any event, thank you. Um, but uh, basically, mid-sentence, um, Barbosa, uh, Adler will come up behind you at the door. Ah, young master, I bought the drinks like you requested. Yes, thank you. And will give a sort of dismissive nod and then turn to Dale. He looks rather unhappy. Would sit it down at what near uh, where closest desk or table, and he would just go off to the side of the door and wait patiently, like a good obedient dog, for the honorable young master. Is Adler entering the room, or is he having this conversation at the doorway? Don't you and your bloody insistence on tokens being where they should be. That's there we go. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Sanji. Yes. Um, Adler comes in and just kind of says, Yes, thank you, disbelief to the uh, butler. And to Dale, and just with a sort of the pointed look, and doesn't say anything. So, Dale, you're being stared down by your younger brother. <laughs> Staring contest! Why are you here? <laughs> Take what's yours. Pretty sure you lost that right when you decided to just forsake the family and run off and do whatever the hell is you wanted for the last however many years. Or have a long I don't remember. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So um, right now she is twenty. It's been like ten years, basically, since she ran off. More than ten years, really. For ten long years, in which I have to take up your responsibilities and still continue mine. Now you think you can come back and take everything I have earned? Just pick up where you left off, as if you didn't take the entire family. And in precise terms, what is your purpose? Precise terms, sister, please. You're, you're on. You, I'm sorry. What? Sorry. <clears throat> he looks in. He, he looks just stunned right now. Just like he, like I'm. I, <laughs> you. I was, this wasn't meant to be true. <laughs> and um, 
Legitio, you and Dale, you both know that taking over the family business implies implies but doesn't expressly state an intent to bump off who's ever in the way of you know rightful um what's the word so, so when you when a relative dies you inheritance oh, or right so um yeah the, the implication is that someone needs to die for the inheritance but um it hasn't been expressly stated and so at the moment it's still standoff between you two and all the guards and the butler overhearing this i will repeat either you can help me or i will have to get you out of my way He'll just look to his security, like the head security agent, and just sort of nods towards her. Oh, yeah, I guess your fixer would be there too. Um, sorry, I never moved that token. We, yeah, something about the nod of you just heard this threat against my life. Do something about it. Ah, so one of those types of nods. Okay, well, um, the head fixer will. Draw a blade and rolling of initiatives. So, um, do, 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 he's invisible, but do, 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 uh, Leghetto and Fixer. Including myself. Yeah, I put you in there, so. Uh, actually, there's a cleric outside the door during all this, so Frosty, if you want to. What do you say, Frosty? Would the, the cleric get involved or not? Oh, sorry, the novice. Uh, where is this happening exactly? Uh, uh, okay, there. Just yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. Um, no, she would... Probably just run back to tell what's happening. Okay. There you go, Fungi. I can put it for you. And uh, Barbosa, you uh, probably of average speed and grace. Well, no, actually above average, I think. You'd have to have slightly better than average. Um, so Dale, uh, basically you'd recognize your brother's head, head, head gesture this is saying deal with this to the fixer. Um, she's going to draw her blade and she's going to charge the fixer. I think I'm far enough away. Um, no. You'd basically be moving through threatened squares as well to get to the fixer. Can I roll acrobatics or something to get over them without them being able to attack me? Yes, you could attempt that, actually. In fact, your acrobatics could also give you the charge bonus. It's basically you flip over their heads to land behind the fixer. She is more agile than you remember her being, uh, Legitio, as she will literally flip over... Oh, sorry. Flip. Ah, sorry, go ahead. I... I I would not recommend being there. Oh, I could be like out of a threatened square. Kind yeah. Of okay, and your charge attack. Okay, Fungi, you may roll for the fixer's dodge. Oh god, what is it? I don't wanna... Ooh. Damn it. Okay, so... Um, also, give me an intelligence roll, please, Dale. Um, that should actually be that. So, something seems vaguely familiar about the way the fixer moves, but you can't quite put your finger on it. 
Uh, Fungi, if you put your cursor over your token, you should see stats for uh, Legetio. I think I hid all my stats. Uh, I'm not to remind okay, me how so to get them to click, here again. Double click him and go to properties. And you scroll down about halfway down, you'll see some items that he has in his disposal. Ooh. So it is his turn. Ooh. Ooh, how on earth does he get Terminus Rama that fits in his pocket? Okay, that joke nails. Um, seeing his sister just fucking flip the fuck out, pun intended, um, he's going to back away from the door and just basically be scared and go, God, God, stop her, pointing and looking scared. Okay. Fixer's turn. Fungi, your fixer, would she attack? You'd attack, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Stab, stab, save, stab, stab, save, save. The thing, the stab, stab. Okay, go ahead and give me a roll for your fixer's stabbings. <laughs> no. <laughs> she realizes she forgot to undo the buckle that keeps her blade in its sheath, and she just kind of tugs on them and just pulls her pants up a little too high. God damn it, fixer. I knew I should have picked the one that wasn't attracted but could hold it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> do I have like a like emergency button in this room? I can get towards pushing or something like that. You you would have um, yeah. You know what? The the drawers would probably have like control panels with communication um, in intercom. I would get in between here. It's like, young master, please escape. Get myself in between Taryn as I walk, get, try to keep myself between Taryn and the young master. Okay. As I go toward the uh, communications to sound the alarm. Okay. All right, uh, Tyrion. Hmm. Never mind. You're facing the wrong direction. Okay, um, but Adler, give me uh, an um, uh, an awareness roll. Awareness roll, you say? Indeed. Why, these are the eyes that can see the moon. <laughs> Down there. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, Jess, your security agents, uh, I'm going to say, you know what, at least two of them are going to be yours. So, yep, yeah, okay, there are three. Three of them are yours. What do they do? Yes, sir, who... Oh, your boss? Your... Uh, Okay, so they're waiting for their boss to give them orders. However, Legitio, your men have already been receiving their orders. And uh, Fungi, you may start to move them into the positions that they would take. How far can they move? Uh, if they're running, they could move as much as 18 meters. And this is all the agents in the room? Uh, you have control of seven of them. I see at the agent. Um, well, fucking... Oops. <laughs> it is easy there. Everyone out into the party. Go, go, go. It's, it's, I don't know, it's Mosh o'clock. <laughs> oh, come on, you gotta finish the pyramid. I can't control the, those guys. The funny thing is, Jess, they won't get a flanking bonus. Tyrion doesn't provide that. <laughs> Yes, you have your your new combat talents will be at your disposal. 
Crap. Why crap? Um, I don't have access to the list you sent me because I accidentally closed out of Team C. Okay, I'll, I'll, copy, I'll it. copy it again. Just a sec. The new additions are these five. And team speak, team speak. There you are. Choo. And um a bow bob, your butler could have a pistol, a knife, whatever you feel would be appropriate for a man of his station to have, bearing in mind that this is Warhammer 40K, and everybody can have a weapon. I would perceive it as like he would probably have a compact last pistol. Okay. Something that would be, since he's a butler or a chamberlain, it would have to be, they, anybody who sees him know he's visib he's armed, but he's not going to be visibly armed. You're not going to be able to see something very easy on him. Right. So, uh, Jess, at the moment, your guards are just sort of talking to their superior about what's going on, giving a report. Then they're protecting Adler. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Fungi, your security agents, um, at least three of them are going to be able to make attacks. So uh, I'm going to say mob rule. Uh, so you'll be getting... Um, bonus to damage if you successfully hit based on degrees of success. Oh, and uh, Brooke, which blade in particular did Dale ready? Her two wrist blades. Okay. All right, well, I'll roll the first attack. Are you just rolling the one, technically? Oh, okay, well, there we go. And like I said, if degrees of success would have given bonus damage, but uh, how am I? I, I <sighs> there's no real psychers around, though. So, um, Adler, these men of yours, where would you have picked them from? Why, they're the very best of the best from the Abites, uh, uh, you know, that could be persuaded to work for a... Privately. Uh, actually, it's not privately, so, it's working, working for the fucking guy that runs the fucking planet. That's a fucking good job. The, the son of the guy who runs the fucking planet. Well, we've all got to start somewhere. Indeed, indeed. Um, so he'd be offering perks and whatnot, I assume. Uh... Uh, how, how open would their employment opportunity have been? Would he have instructed them to keep it on the down low? Or it's fine to, you know, tell your loved ones who you're working for. It's, it's fine to, you know, be open about this. I have some damn respect, man. You're working for the second most important person on the damn planet. So don't go telling any Tom, Dick, or... 40k name here then did you work for me <laughs> okay okay so uh go ahead and give me a, a charm roll to see if you got people who are legitimately interested in working for you or people who are just in it for the money they're twats every single man jack one of them okay um so yeah there, there's going to be a bit of hesitation in these men uh, that, that, that's going to be kind of interesting to see how it turns out. Dale, your turn. Um, and actually, you know what? Dale and uh, Legetio, scrutiny rolls for both of you. Okay. Sorry, I was looking up the talents. Was... Uh, uh, so, Legitio, you see that hesitation in their eyes. That kind of glance towards Legitio with kind of a squint in the eye of, wait oh, a minute, you better she, believe offered that's him, she offered him a chance. What would she offer us? Kind of thing. Oh, fuck uh, off. Dale, on the other I'm hand, gonna... Dale, you just see a bunch of guys ready to kill you. Fuck off, did she offer me a chance? Give me everything you own or I'll stab you in the mouth. 
<sighs> so yes, I was able to believe that that might hurt a little bit more, but okay. Ow, um, crotch, whatever. Um. Okay, I'm gonna attack the fixer. What type of attack? Um. She does not look heavily armored, but she could be wearing stealth armor. Not stealth armor, but concealed armor. Um. She's gonna just put the power field on both of her blades. And. Um. Just attack. The, well, well. <laughs> Well, you can't say just attack. Like, remember, there's dual strike, there's swift strike, there's oh yeah, I attack, forgot about that. There, there's called shots. She's not gonna call shot. There is that better. And what type of what type of attack? Dual strike. Okay, dual strike. Um, with but that I role. miss. But you have blade master now. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, then I'm going to you try again. <laughs> oh, that's, uh... So, uh, there's a lot of swinging of arms, but no connections yet. Legitio! Um, quintuple paid the man that brings her down. <laughs> Barter roll. I, I should be bloody good at bartering. I'm basically a banker. <laughs> that is indeed Dosh. Dosh, 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 Dosh. And it's your fixer's turn. So, uh, fixer. This time, hopefully, we'll draw the blades properly. Uh, and you'd want her to attempt to assault Dale still. You better believe it. So let's see your roll for your fixer. Fuck, she, she, she and I are going to have a, a personal <laughs> word. I just sort of imagine Dale and the fixer uh, with their swords out going, Nee! Their heads tilted back, their eyes squinted closed as their arms go up and down frantically. And, uh, and you tell me that and you tell me my sister has defeated greater demons. Are you sure? <laughs> no one has said that yet. You don't I, know I, where I know, she's I know, been. I know. It's 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 a, a, it's a funny. Yes. yes. <laughs> Barbosa. Well, I think I should make it to the communication device. Okay. Uh, give me an awareness roll as you do that. <sighs> well, guess who just walked into the room? Oh, crap. Oh, uh... Tyrion, you're Good. still not aware. Legetio, you're still not aware. Unless, of course, Barbosa says something. I, that was an out of character. Oh, crap. Yes. So, Barbosa, you make I'm it to the a panel, and you then notice the man standing to your left. Willpower not to immediately shout out his name because I would still be expecting him to be in the uh, panic room. Okay. And Jess, you may, of course, have followed him, but he would have given you orders to stand back and let him hear what Tyrion has to say. Um, and then basically, when Tyrion started to flip out, uh, he would have basically immediately jolted into the room, whether you had a chance to grab him or not. So uh, go ahead and roll your initiative. Okay. Uh, so he's not going to immediately shout out and freak out like, Master Ephinus, what are you doing here? He'd be like, Bumps uh, the word. He, would just, he would just go, he would just calmly say, 
Master Infinis? Confused? Oh, how do we pronounce his name? I think actually with a willpower of four, he's not going to say a damn thing because he'd know that would compromise his master. Okay. He'll just stop what he's trying to do since he sees the uh, head of security as well. And he'll just like freeze right in front of the communicator and just stare at him. Slightly confused, I would say. Okay. So, Alaric, it is your turn. Awareness to see if I spot father. Not yet. So oh. it was Alaric's turn. Oh, oh, sorry, all these crazy names I did just don't know. Chief of Security, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. So basically, yeah. um, the head Chief of Security is going to move with um, Alphanius. Okay. Uh, well, he's going to move into the room, and uh, he's going to shout rather loudly. So, Legitio and Dale, you will now know he's here to ignore Legitio's... Uh, sorry, I, uh, Brooke, I'm hearing a lot of background stuff. Um, to ignore what Legitio had just suggested and immediately stand back from my daughter. Jess, your security agents, and then uh, Joe, uh, sorry, uh, Fungi, your security agents. Uh, so, well, just, just move them all away. What? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm confused what you're asking to do here. Uh, I'm letting Jess move her security agents, and then it'll be your turn to move your security agents. Okay, I, I thought that's what you said. Okay. So she's moved hers, and they're not taking any active actions. They're just moving around, probably keeping weapons at the ready. Okay. Oh, and what kind of weapons would they have been armed with? After all, security, no expense would be uh, uh, short for them, so they could have their guns and las cannons. Well, not las cannons, but <laughs> the whole team of las cannon. Hold, uh, yeah, no. It's no. ten o'clock. But uh, yeah, Fungi, I think you can start moving your minions. Dale, technically they're all moving out of threatened squares. Do you want to attack any of them? Uh, not that one yet, Fungi. That one has its own initiative. But, uh, Brooke, did you want to attack any of them as they pull away? No. You would not attack Okay, uh, Jess, I'm not going to say... He could have a best craftsmanship. His minions will not. Uh, because, well, th that would get quite expensive. Yes, I know Spectre's of obscene guns. I know. But best quality, pushing it too far. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, Dale, here's your opportunity if you want to try and take it. She will um, she won't do anything and kind of turn her head back to her dad. Ready to action of any kind? Um, no. Okay. Legitio? Um, so the guy has just come in, everyone stopped what they're doing, and now we're just, uh, 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 that's pretty much just happening, right? <laughs> That's what Legitio is just mumbling to himself and standing. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, yeah. So, Daddy Dearest came into the room and told 
everyone to back away from his daughter um, as he approached. And Dale. Hang on, uh, my turn's. My, can I have my turn, please? <laughs> what? Did you say it was my turn? Yes, I'm just telling you what Dale is doing. Oh, sorry, I thought you, I thought right you, you. It was just fucking Brooke's turn. Sorry. She goes Keep right going. before you, so she'd have to skip everyone's turn. And I was saying that Dale had not done, like, basically, <laughs> is she standing down with the fixer or is she just staying in a defensive position with the fixer, uh, Brooke? Um. She doesn't trust the fixer, therefore she's going to at least have a defensive position. Okay. So there you go, Fungi. Alright. Um, well, he will just learn to his father and say, you were listening in on that, right? Ah, give me a quick roll, Fungi. It wasn't, was he? Well, it's it's or at o'clock, but apart from that, I can't tell shit. <laughs> Fixer, what is Fixer going to do? Remember, she's loyal to Legitio, not to Alphanius. Uh, well, she may be, but I can imagine if I was in her position, if the essentially king of planet says, get away from my daughter, I'm not going to then go, but that boss said to kill her. I'm just saying that she is loyal to Legitio above all else. Um, she will. How has she actually drawn her weapon yet? <laughs> yes, yes, she managed to get them out in the last turn. So we just stay exactly where she is, but just kind of frozen in front of Dale, exactly as Dale is frozen in front of her. Okay, Barbosa. Start yes, uh, stay close to the master and draw my pistol in case Dale tries to kill him. She has voiced that intent. All right. Uh, sorry, uh, Chief of Security. Just ready to open fire with literal fire if uh, shit goes bad. Yeah, the Spectre, by the way, everyone, Auxiliary Grenade Launcher, S Single Use Flamethrower as well, I think, uh, Shotgun, and three different types of yeah. ammo in one uh, auto gun that you can flip between as a free action. So it's the equivalent of the assault rifle version of, a, of Judge Dredd's Log Ringer. Give or take. It's a very bulky, large piece of... But, uh, yeah, so... It'll come to Alphanius, and uh, I'm just doing a quick roll here. And... Uh, he will state that... Um, he wants the troops to arrange themselves in a circle and uh, beckons for Legitio silently with just a hand motion for Legitio to come up as well. You will obey. Actually, you know what? He wouldn't get completely up in her. And... Um, at the moment, Sorry, security I thought guards. Were doing things I should be moving them. No, no, it's fine. Security guards can now move into their desired positions. Yes, yours as well. And uh, unless Dale Legitio, unless any of you are going to take an active, violent action, uh, combat will end at this point. No, just stay close. The master is ready to jump in front. Protect him. Uh, Barbosa yeah. and Alric, you will both be motioned to step back. Um, Tyr and Dino, whatever the heck we're gonna call her, um, won't take any, like, active action unless there's a reason to. 
And at the moment, there isn't a reason. Okay. Um, and Legitio, are you going to ask your fixer to back off or not? Fudgy? Uh, yes. Are you going to ask your fixer to back off or not? Oh, fuck, yes. Um, yeah, just... He'll sigh rather irritatedly and probably disappoint and say, just, just step back, back down. Okay, so you should have, I was going to say, you should have control over. <clears throat> so, uh, oh, Danis will stare at Dale and say, who put you up to this? I can't make decisions for myself. You... Proven that you have a stubborn mind, and I just didn't want to believe that you could be so heartless. Well, that's oddly like the pot calling the kettle black. Right back into it, I see. You never could quite grasp your purpose, could you? Uh, no. So he's already starting to get really quite pissed. And you can sort of see an eye twitch develop as he clenches his fists very, very tightly at either side of his body, kind of leaning forward at the head, saying, I don't know what it will take to make you learn your place. He won't respond. Do you really intend to take the family all that responsibility when you've proven time and time again that you are irresponsible? You will nod and say simply say yes. My daughter is insane. He'll turn to the side and just sort of look to Legitio, um, raising a hand up to his brow as if he's got a sudden severe migraine. Um, Legitio oh, just kind of shrug and go, like, shrug with a face that goes, I told you so. <sighs> fucking insane. I hereby rescind all bonds to Dale previously, Titus. She no longer has the family name or any of the associated wealth, power, or influence. Oh. It, Jess, was that in character? Tyrion, uh, sorry, Dale, Brooke, how does Dale respond to basically being disowned by her father? Well, he... Well, she bear doesn't like it. That, bear in mind that this is meant to be your Ascension uh, mini-mission, and you had a specific goal in mind, so... You, you could end up failing this unless you have something to pull out of it. She's going to attempt to attack him. Okay. Well, Dale, um, if you're going to attempt to attack him, what kind of attack and uh, dual strike? Dual strike, okay. Um, also, give me an agility roll uh, to determine if anyone is going to be able to interpose themselves. Okay. 
So Alaric, Butler, Legitio, are any of you going to try and step between Dale, her blades, and the master of the house? Protect the master! But you have to roll first. Uh, okay. Is it a case of um, blocking the way with weapon or blocking the way with body? With body. Fuck that. <laughs> That just gets the good young. This gets the honorable young master that much closer to. Al, if, if, if Alaric were one point higher, he would have like stumbled on and landed on his face. Um, uh, Barbosa. <laughs> Such luck! You can get like right up in time. Um, as fifty-one will hit the uh now it's either right arm or body body okay and um i'm going to say that we'll be able to treat this as an assassin strike or not just an well, assassin strike as well as assassin's benediction um so Bearing that in mind, and you rolled a 51? Correct. Okay, so um, 1d10 divided by 2 plus 1d10 divided by 2 plus uh, your strength bonus. Uh, and then did you have... And you know what? Actually, you may also opt to test perception as a free action if you want to increase the penetration of this attack. If you don't roll, then you'll just get a moderate penetration bonus. Um, I'll roll per what perception again. <laughs> yeah. If you fail, you lose the bonus entirely. But you did not, so you uh, did not fail, you did get the bonus, and um, so because these are both the assassin blades, um, it's 1d10 divided by 2 plus 1d10 divided by 2 plus 7, uh, I think, was there any other bonus damage did you have? You have crippling strikes, so we'll find out in a moment if that actually comes into account or not. Uh, but you roll that twice because you're using both blades. Oh, well, that and one the other, wasn't very the other good. Blade is... Ten! Roll to confirm rights. Wasn't planning on it. That will be a success. Roll another d10. Counting as a full d10, so not divided. Roll another d10. Okay. Uh, so his toughness and his armor, and um, that would be... Uh, Poor, poor Joe and Frosty have just, you know, not been able to do a hell of a lot tonight. I, An hour. But it, it, it was yeah. it was Dale's show. Down here. So, um, with his toughness and armor and uh, hit points. Basically, I'm going to say uh, you'll get to declare how you want to kill him with plunging your blades into him. Uh, torso kill. Microphone activated. Before that's decided, uh, splitting, or is this about to wrap up? This is pretty much about to wrap up. Okay, I'll let it keep going then. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah. Microphone muted. Okay. Well, it's just going to be two quick strikes to his stomach, and then she's going to pull her blades out and let him crumple to the ground. Uh, that's in the, the stomach. Kind of someone could Ooh. recover from with medical attention. What was it? Someone could recover from that with full attention. 
Got him. Nice. You draw your blades out, go sideways. Okay, so she's gonna try to, like, nick something important so he bleeds out quickly. Okay, so basically you could plunge a dagger straight into his heart with one hand, while the other hand, do you still want to slice his gut? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to say left hand comes around with a curved blow coming into the guy's chest, basically getting him right in the heart, while the right hand slides forward, slicing through his midsection and causing his intestines to kind of explode forward. And uh, let's see. Butler, you are not jaded. Uh, Legitio, you are. Um, guards, I'm going to say, are. So pretty much it's just Barbosa who has to roll for um, uh, a fear the wing, was, essentially. The grimmest thing I've probably seen was cutting up a turkey. Some other kind of meal. Or, you know, killing pests of some sort. But yeah, not, exactly. not the man you dedicated your life to serving. Well, at least he's not vomiting all over the floor, but obviously this is going to be upsetting for quite a few of you. Um, and uh, technically, combat is uh, resuming. Dale, you just used your action. Legitio. You will just yell. She killed my father. Just fucking... Ah, no, no. Um, I don't think he's going to have a mental breakdown just yet. Um, she killed my father. Kill her. And he will then, at that point, take a step back. Go on to... I don't know if I can still do this, but I go on to the house like um spire network and just say my sister just killed whatever the fuck you say dad's name well basically you could run to the comm station if you want to uh yeah okay i'll do just that um but if i have any basically i want to tell everyone i can what the fuck just happened yeah basically you can do broadcast across the entire uh tower complex Yes, but I don't want to die before I get there to do that without some people outside this room knowing. No, I'm saying right next to the door there is a control panel that would allow oh. you to send... Me- it's an intercom. And you could press uh, the button that broadcasts to the whole uh, estate. Sure, I will do that. Okay. And then Fixer. Charge! Okay. Uh, all out attack. Well, it's a charge, so. No, oh, you will take charge attack then. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, it's stab. That's your problem. Clearly, Barbosa. I didn't hire her for her melee aspects. <laughs> <laughs> Different assets. I know. I was brought up seeing the best. You traitorous whore! Dude, that's my fucking sister you're talking about. Try to use a compact last pistol in uh, melee. And uh, I'm gonna say, did we did we find stats for him, uh, Bo Bob, or not? We never rolled stats. I I sent you a message about what stats I asked to go you to by. Look in a supplement or one of the rule books and just find an NPC to stat him off of. I sent you that uh, in the uh, private chat. Did you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I lost that then. Fuck. Yeah, it was de- a dissolute noble or a merchant magnet. I think were the closest ones. Find. Do you remember yeah, what in the, the core book. score was? Uh, I... 25, 25. Let me see. Okay. The so one was... 25 would not be a success. I don't think the noble had much better. Um, Go ahead. I have to say I missed. That's fine. Yeah. Chief of Security. Chief 
chess? Yeah, it's the exact same. Yeah, it's the exact same ballistic scores for both, so it's fine. Using the flame option. Uh, what, what? Wait, what were you using the flame for, or not? No, then you don't roll for the attack. Instead, uh, where did I leave my compass? Or oh, sorry, protractor. <clears throat> there we go. And so, um, just going to draw this in the hidden layer, so you guys don't have to worry about seeing it. But it'll allow me to tell who's get flamed. And uh, I believe it was a forty-five degree angle. The flamer. Uh, Barbosa's getting hit. I'm getting a hit. The fixer's getting hit. Getting, he's getting roasted some more. He's getting roasted. And the best I have is a mesh vest. So yeah, um, Barbosa, Tiran, and three of the guards. So. Uh, Two of them are Adler, one of them is Jess's. Uh, Jess, I'm going to say your 30 can be used for your agent to jump out of the way of the flame. Uh, but for Barbosa, Tiran, and the Adler agent, we're going to need. Wow. Oh, okay. I didn't roll a D100. I rolled 100, which would be 100 equals yes. 100. Yes. <laughs> Let's try that again. That's better. Okay. And since Dale is acrobatic, where does she want to position herself? Can she go, like, behind him so she's, yeah. like, she clear out of the way? Oh, How far thought, can I move? I thought you wanted to be behind him, but you move uh, up to four meters. Well, I, it was more... There's no good spot. I'm going to be... I guess I just want to be out of the arc and not engaged in melee with anyone. Okay. So and, there. Uh, Bungie? Uh, yes. Your role for your men? Um, sorry, I've been a bit zoned out. What's going on? Uh, Jess's uh, chief of security just activated. Same his... thrower? Yeah. Oh, dear. So two of your men are currently in risk of being set on fire. But not just at risk of being on fire, they are on fire. Jess, you may roll uh, <laughs> 1d10. Um, actually, uh, and then you roll another d100 fungi. And then Jess would roll an additional d10. Oh, well, my rolls so are consistent. 85, 76, 65. Uh, this is uh, 65, not 66. Okay, yes, so you get to roll another d10. I'm just going to say these two are on fire and not going to survive. They're screaming. <laughs> oh. He's dead. I'm deleting this. Uh, so, um, security agents. Uh, let's go fungies first. Um, oh, my agents, um, well, yeah, it seemed to be working so well last time, I mean, fuck it, why not? I don't control him, I don't control him, I don't control him, Jesus. I don't control him. I should probably change their, um... Oops, uh, no, not that one. Ah, they, they I'll they undo they my space bars. Allies, they can go through allies. Cool, but, oh, fuck, I found just from there. Well, then Control him. going that far would technically give Dale an attack of armor. Okay, fine. I'll put him there. Jesus. <laughs> there we go. That's all my guys moved. Apart from the one you burned to death. death. Right. Okay. And, of course, you'll get some attacks out of that. So give me a D100 to find out just how uh, likely it is that anyone's going to connect. No. <laughs> All right, and Jess, your minions, who happen to have firearms. 
But they're gonna be firing into melee. Not only a melee, a fucking dog pile. <laughs> okay, so all of them are using uh, full aim action, you're saying? Okay. And uh, on to Tyrion. Whatever her name. Right, um, sorry, Dave. Right. Dual strike on that dude. Since it works so well. <laughs> okay, uh, Fungi, he is entitled to an attempt to dodge. Dang it. And although I think, did we give um, the fast quality to your weapon? Yes, we did. So um, that is not going to be successful dodge for him because of uh... oh, and I actually I, I cheaped out on the amount of damage you could have done to your dad. By the way, you could uh. have actually have got uh, two more d tens rather than one more d five. But um, yeah, so uh, dual strike on him. He's not dodging with a five. That will hit either the head. Or the torso. Um, head. Okay. It's going to be in the face. Okay. So, so it's one d ten divided by two plus seven twice over. Uh, Interesting, and. Uh, would you decapitate him, plunk his eyes out, slice his throat? Decapitate him in the cross the blades and then, you know, pull Scissor. outwards fashion. Scissor cutting his head off? Yes. Barbosa, that's going to be, well, it's going to be another willpower roll, but not as severe as the last one. Barbosa's getting into this. Uh, Barbosa is pissed. <laughs> he doesn't care if some no-name agent of, it, of the young master dies. He must avenge the the dead master and make sure that the young master is protected. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, Fungi, uh, Legitio's turn. Uh, have I made the message well, how, known and heard? How long, like it was just a quick, my si my sister has killed my father. That's it? Um, well, if he said that last turn, he'll repeat by saying, um, after, oh, fuck, um, what's her, what's her, what's her, it's Titus, isn't it? The last name of the family is Titus. Yeah, uh, Dale Titus has just assassinated for the elephant in the elephant and the Titus. In the we, we, she has to be brought to justice. I can't words, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, he's not taking any other action other than speaking. Um, I think he's getting the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> okay. So, door open. Yes, door is still open. Okay, then. Close door. <laughs> Can I close the door? Yes. Woo! Um, and also, oh, I can't make him invisible because then you won't be able to move him in. Wait, where's the... Hey, well, if you want, I'll let you... Oh, oh there's the panic room. How, how easy is that? <laughs> Alright, so I moved eight. Well, that was... I was, I was I, ten I, away, I, so I was there. I'm going to say to close the door, that's going to be the end of your turn. Close the door. Okay, so I'll guess there. Well, the door. Well, no, it would be that corner. So is that where the door has to be closed? Yes. The place that I randomly put myself and you've now decided this is the place I need to be? No, because it's that corner and this corner have the controls. Yeah, likely fucking story. <laughs> okay. So, uh, your fixer. All right. Well, 
I can't do shit now because people are in the way. You run around and get to the other side to try and devise some evil plan to try throwing something. <laughs> uh, see what she has. Okay, she hasn't got a character sheet. Um, I can go over corpse. Yes. Nah. Yes. Nah, 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 nah. And fuck it, all out attack. I can't roll eighty fives forever. No, 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 you would not get an all out attack if you did all that movement. Right, good point. I haven't done a melee character in a while. Just, <laughs> just stabby, stabby. The, um, she's not that fast. Like walking all the way. Uh, there was no stabby, stabby. She's, she's the worst. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I can make this disappear, by the way. I, well, hopefully, won't be needing it again. Barbosa. Uh, well, he wouldn't know better, so he would just sit where he is, take a full aim at Dale and wait for a clear shot. Okay. Chief of Security. Are you actually going to be using the grenade? Me and grenades don't get along very well. <laughs> uh, which type of ammo were you using? Or was this the grenade? Okay, so um, there's a gun leveled at you, Tyrion, and an itchy trigger finger. You may attempt to dodge. Hey, and... Uh, uh, sorry? Continue. Okay, Jess, please roll damage. Wait, that succeeds. My agility is 43. And I have plus 20 to acrobatics. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking just to roll damage. This guy takes a bullet in the shoulder and yelps. Right, not for me. Got it. And all of the security agents. Oh, Fungi, you've got yours in melee. They try to pummel her with clubs, I'm guessing. Yep, just good old fashioned leave missing brutality. Because I am incapable of doing anything well today. Give us the roll. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Every shitty wank bastard turn is 85. <laughs> so they'll start wailing their bats towards Tyrion uh, as she's dodging the bullet. Then one of the guys gets hit with the bullet and they all kind of stop and then look and then look. And it's like, oh, it was an accident. And uh, Jess, your agents. Oh no, I killed one of the guys protecting me. That wasn't very smart on my part. So with their full aims, um, and sorry, were they doing, yeah, it would be single shots if they were doing full aims. Um, Does rapid but, reaction give me anything in this case? No, not really, but the thing is, they rolled really, really shitty, so Crossfire Galore, Tyrion, your Dale, sorry, Dale, 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 is not going to be harmed, and I realize, um, uh, Joe, you wanted to stop the recording a while ago, right? Joe? Microphone activated. Did he yeah. go AFK? Oh, there he is. All right, so... Um, Top of the new round, but um, oh, sorry, you're saying only one of them shot Jess? Okay, but in any event, we're going to stop the recording. Joe, let us know.